Hey everybody, what's going on? Um, wow, it's been a couple of weeks. I uh, I got sidetracked with house stuff. That seems to be my excuse lately. <laughs> um, no, we're uh, we're moving our uh, moving our loan over to a different lender, so we had to get an appraisal, and which is kind of silly because I'm not pulling any equity out. I'm just rolling, rolling over what I owe to a different bank. But anyway, um, so I had to, I was in no, wasn't planning on getting an appraisal anytime soon, so I wasn't really in shape for it, and hopefully we got through it. So anyway, enough of that. Um, So I, I haven't been in the shop in a while. <laughs> so here I am. Um, we're uh, going to work on the B26. I'm going to, next step for me, I'm going to put the decals on it, which may seem out of, out of the normal path of things. And, you know, if there is a normal path of things, but I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing, where we're at, and why. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got here. Um, this might be a little shaky. Sorry. And then my overhead fluorescent is flickering like crazy. But um, So as you know, we have our, our color coats on. Um, top and bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, let me get these out of here. Um, and uh, <clears throat> there's some issues. There's a lot of overspray. Um, we will take care of that stuff, and I will show you how. I'm going to have to fix up the wheel bays in some places. Uh, there's some overspray on the stripes, different things. I'm not too concerned about those. Um, some splatters where some things happen that shouldn't have. I don't know what that stuff is. Anyway, we'll deal with that. And, uh, yeah, there's some serious funkiness going on, but, but, uh, but it's all okay. We'll deal with it. There's a couple of major, the major things in my mind are this yellow spot here and this yellow spot here. And those must have happened when I painted the tail stripe. I must have got some yellow on my finger and didn't realize it because I didn't see those until just today. But I haven't been down here in a while either. So, um, the process is going to be, well, let me tell you, first of all, why we're going to put the decals on now. Now, you're probably thinking, why don't you fix all that paint stuff before you put the decals on? Well, because I'm just going to, quote, unquote, fix it when I do the weathering. And we'll do some sponge touch-ups and stuff, and we'll show you how to do all that. Um, but for right now, I'm going to get these decals ready. Now, these decals are 30 years old. Well, almost. Um, they look pretty good, but I really won't know anything until I get into them. I've got my crock pot of water heating up over here. Um, and my, if you see any flashing, it's my overhead fluorescent. Uh, winter has finally arrived. So, yeah, it's not that. It's not my morning light. <laughs> it's the fluorescent. So, um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take my scalpel and I am going to cut all of these decals out of here. So we'll be back. Okay, as you can see, I've cut everything up here. Um, so I'm going to just take all these things and I'm going to move them over here. Kind of organize them a little bit into what's what. Um, oh, let's see here. Now, even though these are pretty old, they look to be in pretty good shape. 
but we will uh, try our way with them some way somehow um, so there they are water is yeah, it's getting warm but it's still cold um, which is okay because I don't have my bowl down here and here's the uh, here's all the cutoffs from the decal sheet I'm going to use those for stuff move the that out of the way um, I'm going to use those to test with this out of here and um, so yeah so now we need to prep the surface right now that means different things to different people to some people it means a gloss coat to some people it means no coat to some people it means polishing the surface a little bit um, I've done it all those ways and I still do it all those ways and I don't necessarily have any reason why I do it one way or the other sorry that was my finger um, but in this case I'm going to use this the sanding sponge material here um, it's really more like a polishing sponge and I've already gone over the surface but you know you just take it here like this and it'll smooth out uh, that rough surface and that's all you need to do in the positions where the decals go and you can use it to smooth out paint anywhere that you want it it's it, it'll it's good for it. It'll, it'll do you just fine. So um, I've already done most of it here, but uh, I'm going to get a little bit of more of it done. I can't uh, do this all with one hand. So I'm going to get that done. And when we come back, we'll have a bowl of water and we'll start laying our decals on. Okay. So it's, it's been 20 minutes. Um, I went and watched uh, David Damick's uh, latest video on Plasmo Station on his uh, that V2 launcher thing he just built. That guy did some amazing stuff. So I got some warm water here out of my uh, crock pot. Remember, that's why that's there. I still got my micro set. I got my brush for that. And I've got my coat of decals here, so... Oh, where shall we start? I'm not going to start with that one. Uh, maybe we'll start... Let's start with this little thing that goes in the cell here. So... We'll dip that in the water. Set it here. And I think we'll do this one too while we're at it. Now this crock pot has a uh, oh, low, high, and warm setting, um, so it, it's on warm. Um, there's no reason to put it on high or or low. Warm is plenty warm enough. Hardy har har. And I should, I'll dip this one too. I mean, if this uh, we still have issues after coating them. Then it's kind of doomsday anyway at that point. <laughs> so, so I'm going to take uh, some micro set. I'm going to look at my diagram here, and I think I was right there. And we'll pick it up and slide it off. Now, one thing I did fail to remember is this coating it's one solid thing <laughs> so if you um, so I'm going to try and slice this out of here a little bit meaning that if you coat the entire decal sheet um, you're going to end up with 
one large decal because it just coats everything. And I forgot about that, and now I'm kind of in a mess at the seams. Because this doesn't want to come off of here, but the rest of it does. Um, all right, let me see what I can do here. Is it moving? There. It's moving now. All right. And we're on. In one piece. That's good. Okay, so what do we do here? So we're going to have the same problem with all of these. Um, but that's okay, they're staying together, so. Put on my micro set. Come over here. Push it off with the brush. Get it up to where we want it. Straighten it out a little bit. Oh no, I moved it. No. Okay. Okay, that one's in one piece. Now, and before I go in there with this thing, Trim it up a bit. Now maybe I don't have to. See, I should have trimmed, you see all this excess? I should have trimmed that all off. But I didn't. It'll just be another challenge to deal with. Um, not really that concerned with the national insignia. I have lots of those. Laying around on different decal sheets. And I can trim it up. So there's that. Now I am going to trim these before I put them in the water. I may not be smart, but I'm not dumb. <laughs> All right, there goes that. Trim it up. Should be good as good as gold. So 
Now, you may be sitting there going, man, this guy talks a lot, and why is he showing us all this? And, and, and we can just move on. We don't need to see all these goof-ups, and what are we learning from watching him screw up? Well, hopefully you learn, you're learn. you learning that um, you screw something up, and you can fix it. You don't have to pitch the kit into the trash. You know, it's a... Uh, Kind of a sign of the times when we get so frustrated with things that we just throw it in the trash can and give up. Yeah, maybe it's not a sign of the times, but it's definitely a, a sign of who or what we've become. And, uh, you know. Not that big of a deal, man. Fix it. Okay, that one just tore on me at the top. Because it was wet. Okay, we'll live with it. We'll see what we end up with, and we'll live with it. Now, these uh, code code letters, if you're not aware, they're, they tell you what squadron... The aircraft is with that's the first two letters and then the third letter is the individual aircraft letter um, the individual aircraft letter is always toward the rear regardless of what side it's on um, I don't think that's true of British aircraft um, but anyway so let's see if we can get this get these on here and if we can at least get them on enough to where I can touch them on up later I'm okay with that And if we can't do that, I'm okay with that too. <laughs> it just means things will get a little more interesting later. Stuck to the finger. So roll it off. Okay. So that came out in two pieces. That's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. Man, it's all wrinkly too, and that's okay too. So I am just going to. I'm just going to piece that thing together like this. as best I can okay and we'll fix it with a brush later I'm not gonna worry about all those wrinkles there none of that garbage now let's see what we can do here This one's in a mess of pieces too. You know what? I'm not going there. Alright, get rid of that. Get rid of this too. Okay. All right, we're going to go with this big dog decal here in the front. See if we can make, actually make that thing work. And while we're doing that, I'm going to come back here with my knife. Cut 
through some of this film. Very carefully. And peel it off. No problem. All right. Nothing to get excited about. Okay. Now. What do you guys think? What do you think is going to happen here? Huh? Is this going to be a disaster? Or do you think it's going to come off? It's already kind of looking like a disaster. Yeah, it's all coming apart. Ah, uh, hell, let's see what we can do here. Nope, ain't gonna work. All right. So the decals of this thing are basically shot. <laughs> right? Right. So, I'll take that off there. Um, I'll leave that other stuff on there and we'll uh, we'll play with it a little bit. So now we got all this stuff on here and we got our decals in place. Put my set away. Take my sponge, I'll go around here, tap everything down that I've got somewhere, get the excess off. Wow, look at that. That thing's shrunken down pretty good for an old 30 year old monogram decal. And so is that. There's no gloss coat on this, remember that. There's no gloss coat. This one's looking good too. So, so we want them. We want them to be down even better than they are now. So we're going to grab the micro saw. Now, one thing about micro set and micro saw: do not mix them. So that means you need a separate brush. Put some of the cap like I did before. You know, the idea is, is that you just spill the cap full and just wipe this stuff on here like it's going out of style. Do not be afraid of just going crazy with this stuff. Try, you don't want to move the decal like that one just did, but or the one before. Um, you know, but it's real life. You got to deal with what you deal with, right? But I want to soak these down really good. And I mean, this will even make them wrap into those windows. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll post up a picture somewhere of one of my P forty seven bills where I actually was able. To get a nose art decal to wrap completely around the front edge of the cowling with multiple, multiple, multiple applications of this stuff, but it worked. Okay, that's it. Now we wait. Um, and uh, I'll think about uh, how I'm going to fix all this stuff.
Take care of the people you love. We'll see you next time. Bye.